I'm ready for some van action. This is not really going ideal because there's so much pitting and the metal is weak here where I cut the old metal. Uh, but I'm trying to bridge the, the weld across the small gap that I have and it's building up. That's just amateur stuff. Uh, maybe I'll get my settings right at some point because as I go along here, some of this other stuff is, is gonna have to go a little better than that. But this is just the beginning. I'm learning a lesson here. This metal was not strong enough. It was too thin with rust to try to weld this to here. It's just burning through like crazy. I'm gonna lower the temperature and see if I can't button that up and if I can't, I might have to cut this area out and put another small patch in or something. Alright, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get a standing ovation for that, but uh, it gets me back in the hang of uh, welding poorly. <laughs> um, it gets the job done. It's more, on my end, grinding than welding. They say either you're a welder or you're a grinder. I'm the latter. So what I've been taught is to kind of dress that up with some short hair fiberglass. It's waterproof and covers up the minor pits and holes that are left behind. I wish it was that easy. Hindsight is 2020, but I wish I had just cut all the way down, all the way down, and got rid of all this and just did one bigger piece. But for now, let's take care of this thing.
need a need a slight bend in it right there. I'm running into more of the uh, metal that's so weak it just wants to burn through. I didn't think I'd have that on this, but I've got my welder at the lowest setting and it's still doing it. Again, the welds aren't anything to write home about, but it's solid and it's going to work. Once I dress it up with some fiberglass and sand that, I'm going to probably put some epoxy primer on that before I put the fiberglass on, but that's not necessarily required. You can put fiberglass on first because fiberglass is waterproof. I think our next order of business will be addressing this this needs to be fixed before we put the battery tray on because it's in plain sight i was getting dangerously low on these so i went on amazon and i bought a 126 piece kit it was only 28 bucks what i've learned about these they're not all created equal this is a ceramics this is aluminum oxide this is zirconium oxide and these are, this is a wool disc for polishing. Um, these are like overlapped. They're really nice. And these are cushiony for uh, jobs that have lots of dips and divots and uh, multi-curved surfaces like that. The ceramic is the lighter duty. And then step up is the aluminum oxide and the zirconium oxide is really the best, strongest, longest lasting for grinding and taking away metal materials. And this is a good paint stripper. Today I went by a uh, famous Volkswagen bus shop and checked out what they were doing for just a moment during my lunch break. Uh, Berg Visions. They can be seen on TikTok and Instagram. Check them out. I was looking at some of the rust repair that they do because sometimes they'll bring in a VW bus that looks like it's just ready for to just collapse into the earth, and somehow they bring it back to life. I saw some of the uh, frame repairs that they did and asked Brandon if he would come by someday and give me some advice on this area of the van. Because stuff like this is nothing to them. Well, to me, it's a major undertaking. They wouldn't run kicking and screaming from this problem. Just another quick reminder, my next video you see will be me attending the power tour. Hot Rod Power Tour, Atlanta, Georgia, Columbia. I'll go from there to Rockingham, Rockingham to Charlotte. The others will finish off in Bristol. I'll come straight home from Charlotte. So I'm going to try to put a video up every day from the power tour because it's going to be action packed up there. I chose this vehicle to drive because it has air condition, LS swap, very reliable.
very easy to maneuver. Um, not going to run hot, I don't think. I will knock on wood. Um, the drawback is I don't want to put anything back here and scratch this bed. So all my luggage and stuff will be in this small cab with me behind the seat, under the seat. But I'll be comfortable with air condition and I don't need a lot of luggage anyway. And when you go in something like this, hopefully you don't need a lot of tools. Who knows, maybe next year this will be in the power tour. No telling where it will be located and how far along I'll be. But maybe I could just make that my goal. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll announce a goal to make this the 2024 power tour vehicle. All right, I'm out here looking at the way this is originally made. You have the firewall that comes down as a sheet that stops right here. Then the floorboard is flat here and then it 90 degrees up and stops. This is where a different angle would come in handy. I can't get my tool in here to, to cut this, especially with the hose on it. If I had a tool that was 90 degree like this. I'm gonna use one of these because I feel like saving the blue ones for grinding this is just going to clean up the metal for the weld it turns out we're here at this uh place where three pieces of sheet metal come together one two and three, because the floor was seamed together right there. My decision now is whether I wanna just go back with a one piece patch or a two piece. I'm thinking one piece. Well, it's time for me to go get ready to leave for the power tour. If you've liked the video or learned anything, subscribe and see what else I do next.